Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is rolling out with the release of the Windows 11 build 22635.3500, also known as the KV5036985. And this preview is available in the Vera channel. However, these changes are not tied to a specific release of the operating system, so the company can choose to roll them out at any time or save them for the next feature update. I will be including a link in the video description so you can read more about this particular release. Okay, let's dive into the changes for Windows 11 build 22635.3500. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Perhaps the most significant changes are happening in the start menu. In this release, you are going to see that we are getting a new account manager menu that replaces the old profile menu. And it provides a quick overview of your account benefits and alerts you of any missing information and other actions that you might have to take to maintain your account secure. In addition, you will be able to see your storage usage and which services are active and expiring soon. Now, if you don't have a subscription, your menu would look something like this. And if you're using a local account, the menu is going to look like this. In other words, Microsoft is making changes to improve how it advertises its cloud services to users. If you have a subscription, you won't forget that you have to pay for it. And if you don't have a subscription, you'll be reminded to get one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, as a result of these changes, some of the options from the profile menu are now in different places. For example, from the account manager menu, you now have to click this menu button to sign out and to switch user. And you will no longer see the list of users on the menu. When clicking this button right here, that will take you to the lock screen where you can choose the user that you want to sign in as. Now, if you want to lock your account, the option is now available through the power menu. In addition, this preview of Windows 11 also introduces a new all apps menu design that looks like this. The new design groups apps alphabetically in a horizontal grid instead of a list view to make the most out of the space. You can still click the letters to access the dial and jump to a different part in the menu. You can right click the menu to open the start settings and you can also right click an app to see its options. Let me know what you think about this menu in the comments below. The settings app is also getting a few improvements and one of them includes a new box to promote the Game Pass subscription that will appear in the uh, homepage, but only for users who are actively playing games on the computer. If you're like me and don't like the uh, homepage for the settings app, you can turn this off and I will be leaving a link in the video description with instructions to remove this page. Also in the accounts section, Microsoft is also adding a new add now button to add a recovery email of your Microsoft account if the account doesn't have one. I have one, so I don't have that button to show you on this video. Finally, on Windows 11 build 22635.3500, Microsoft is rolling out the new redesigned version of the widgets dashboard, which was previously available on build 26090. And the biggest change is the addition of a new left navigation section that includes the options to switch between your widgets and the news fee. However, if you don't like to see the fee, you can go to the settings and then from this setting, turn off this option and you will now only have a view with your widgets. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 22635.3500. 
remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you i would like to thank you for viewing